Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I'm Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to merge columns in Power Query. So here I have this data and I have the first name and the last name of the person of the sales rep in this data set. And if I want to combine these two columns, then to do that in Power Query, you go to the data tab and click on from table range. It'll open this in the query editor. And here I have these two columns. So to merge these two columns, I can select these and then I can go to the transform tab here and I have this option merge columns. I also get the same option if I right click and go to merge columns here. Now see what happens when I click on merge columns. It opens this merge columns dialog box and it'll ask me what separator do I want to keep between the merged text here. So in the first name and the last name can be separated either by nothing. So I'll get Laura Smith as one single text, or I can have a colon or comma or equal semicolon space or tab, or I can also use a custom uh, separator. In this case, I'm looking for a space here and I can specify what the new column should be called. So I can specify it as name. And now when I click OK, it'll remove these two columns and replace this with the merged column. So if I click OK, see what happens. The first name and the last name columns are gone and I, I'm left with one column here with the name uh, with uh, the heading name and it has the merged data set. But what if you don't want this? So if this is what you want, you can use the merge column option. But if you want to keep the original data and also have a, a new column with the merged data, then you cannot use merge columns here. So let me delete this step here and let me show you how to insert a new column so that it can hold the merge data. So to do that, I would go to add column. Here I would click on custom column and I can give it a name. Let's call this name. And I would have to specify the formula, which is a very simple ampersand formula. I would select the first column name here, which is first name. When you double click on it, it instantly inserts this here. And it, since it has a specific format that it needs to be within square brackets, it's always advisable to use these available columns option here and double click and insert it here. Now to append it with last name, I would use ampersand and then I would have the separator in double quotes. So because I want the separator to be a space, I put space in double quotes, then ampersand again and last name. And now when I click OK, it would insert a new column. It would add a new column with the header that I specified, which is name and the combined data. So I, I get to keep my original columns and I also have this new column with the merged data. So this is how you can merge columns in Power Query. That's it in this video. I hope you found this useful. Thank you and have a nice day.